Hey, good morning. It's Chris from Outbound Terrain. Welcome to the channel. All you off-road maniacs, keeping it real. Hey, uh, this is Chris, of course, and Tom. Yeah, it's my brother. He ain't heavy. He's my brother. But anyways, hey, today we're going to, uh, what are we going to do today, man? I'm going to put a cold air intake. A cold air intake by who builds it? K&N. Uh, K&N. Well, hey, let's get into this, man. All right, so we got a K&N cold air intake. It's the 572591. Mm -hmm. It's for a 17 uh, down to 15 Ford F-150 with the five liter. The five liter. That's a great motor, huh? It is a good motor. Cool. It's the same motor they put in the Mustang GTs. Oh, really? Oh, didn't know that. <clears throat> so we're just gonna here. basically, uh -huh. there's probably nine billion videos about taking out your system and putting in a cold air intake but yeah but this is our video this is your and ours video, is the best and this is your channel yeah that's right <laughs> <laughs> so basically we're going to take this whole section out okay some snaps some screws okay that's the stock system obviously this is the stock system and we're okay. just gonna make it look better so yeah so we put this new uh, air intake on what's it going to do for performance do you think it's it? supposed to add a little bit to the mpg and uh, it's also mm -hmm. going to add a little to the performance. Oh, cool. So, and well, it's uh, all 50 state legal, so awesome. why not? There you, even in California, where we are. Even in California. Yeah, there you go. So that's, uh, what year is this again? This is a, a 17. Nice, nice truck, man. Yeah. Well, you ready to get this going? Let's get it on. All right. All right. Okay, so uh, in the box, you get... Uh, uh, your your line, your filter. Mm -hmm. You get your most important sticker, your emission sticker that you're gonna put up under your hood. Uh, it goes up under. Uh, right cut, we'll cut. Are. We'll cut yeah. that out. And you get your more parts. It's a pretty much a complete kit. It is a complete kit. You get your trim piece. Okay. You get the housing. Oh. And a bag of goodies. A bag of goodies. What's in the bag, man? What do we got? Some. Yeah. All right. Get some rings. Some more trim pieces. Okay. Your fittings. Nice. And some glue. Oh, we got some Tissue. glue. The sticky fingers. <laughs> and that's it. It's a big okay. The camp fire. There you go. You got 40 pounds of packing there. Don't <laughs> so put that in the landfill, man. That's recyclable now. We start a fire with that, man. Take it out camping. That's why shipping so much. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get going. Okay. Well, are you ready? I'm ready. All so right. basically, this is a pretty simple process. You got your your clamps. There's two clamps, one here, one right at the throttle body. And then you have your two emissions plugs or EVAP plugs in here. Okay, let me get a better angle there, bro. Okay. That you gotta take off. Uh-huh. Oh, right now there, okay. And you're taking off that hose clamp. Hose clamp number one. Number one, all right. Get the maestro. Got an animal. Beast. There it is. All right. So All this. Right. Uh, Airbox cover. Yep. Air cleaner. <laughs> That's where that. Yeah, goes. we don't need those parts. <laughs> well, just you know, just leave in the front yard. You know. And then you got this other one down here. Mm hmm. Loosen up. Okay. Your throttle body there, that big mama. Big mama, that big right there. Breathing V8, oh. you got. So then you got your two clips. This is just your basic U clip. Okay. Snap. It it's pop. compression, basically. It just pops out. And then this is your other standard Ford clip. Okay. Pretty, and pretty easy to get off. And there she is. Look at that's that it. Piece of. <laughs> <laughs> American masterpiece. That's it. It's a piece of American technology. Hey, the Chinese would be, would be jealous of that. Man. <laughs> so 
So now all we have to do is assemble some pieces, okay. uh, pre-assemble before we put this in. We've got to put our our fittings in. Okay. And then we'll we'll get it assembled before we you know, just stick it all in it. Pretty tubular, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Tubular. Totally, man. All right, dude. And that's. Uh, Oh, take yeah. a, we'll take a pause and get this assembled. We'll assemble and it and we'll, we'll it show in. the folks how it's assembled. Sounds good. Rocket science. All right, man. <laughs> All right, we're on our knees. <laughs> on our knees. Kind of like when we're at work. Yeah, uh -huh. Just kidding. So we're gonna install these a uh, the couple of fittings that come in the kit. Mm -hmm. You got a larger diameter. That one's a three quarter wrench, open end wrench. This one's a smaller fitting, and that's with your five eighths. Oh, okay. The smaller fitting is going to go on this side. Right. So it'll go that way, this side. And then the other fitting will go on this side. You don't want to tighten these super tight in fear of breaking them. Well, might be a bad Because they're just, they're just Teflon MPT. Yeah. That's about it. Uh, a little, little twist there. And We'll be well on our way. To California, yay. Mm -hmm. The place that rocks, the place that never stops. Northern California. <laughs> yeah. Just nice and snug, I think. Yeah. A little tough on click. Perfect. Beautiful. You've done this before, huh? Yeah, you know. You're professional. This is the first time I've ever held a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Teflon click. All right. Now that we got that done. Mm -hmm. We'll assemble the rest. Okay. And we'll get it all done. Hard to get off my knees. Hold on. Old age. Old age is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, we're gonna look at our handy instructions. So this is the heat shield. Okay. This will actually go inside the box. Okay. And we are instructed to cut this piece that is provided. It's a trim piece. Well, it's a good thing they provided it. <laughs> so you're going to put it on this edge. Uh huh. And then we're also going to put it on this edge. That's why they want you to cut it in half. Oh, okay. Because it won't reach all the way around. Gotcha, man. Yeah, no reach arounds around here. Do some cutting. No reach arounds around here. <laughs> Oh, hey, this is a family channel. Bring your kids, everybody. You know. Nine, <laughs> nine and a half inches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Let's see. Well, it's a good time today. Huh? What's, what's the date today? May 16th or something? It's a, 17th. It's a nice day. It's it a nice, beautiful day. It was 90 degrees yesterday. We started getting our heat pattern up here in Northern California. Pretty soon it'll be 101 degrees in the shade. All right. There you go. Exact scientific measurement. Yep, there you go. Perfect. So it provides super glue, but uh, I don't think I'm going to use super glue. What are you going to use? Elmer's glue? I no. think. Uh, I believe it's just going to stay. Oh, so you're putting it on that edge. Yeah. Okay. I think super glue would probably be overkill. I think so. Yeah. Then you'd never be able to get it off again. <laughs> That's right. How could I adjust it if it's glued on? <laughs> uh, it's yeah, it's like a good that. time in the shop today. A little fun today. Uh, it's a good thing we had that methamphetamine breakfast. That's right. <laughs> Why do you see what we're having for lunch? 
And then this side. And this is pre trim like with the, the incision on the inside, so it just you don't have to cut any more stuff, but just cut it in half. Okay. Beautiful. Just like that. All right. So like I said, I don't think I'm gonna use a super glue. No. All right, well, I'm moving along. Moving right along. Yep. All right, so the next step is gonna be installing this baffle sort of thing. On the inside of the heat shield, as per the instructions, using the provided hardware. Oh, we're having a good time, folks. We're silly, but you know, it's not dry and boring like most videos are, right? Exactly. Well, you take the nut and stick it on the bolt, and then you tighten it down. Yeah, so anyways. All right. So that's a little, little donut. So there's holes that are provided. Uh, Easy money. Ingenious. What do they think of next? <laughs> and of course, um, they don't tell you to have a Allen wrench handy, but these are Allen screws, so yeah. we'll have to dig one of those out of the out of the toolbox. We got we got about three thousand of them to choose from. So other than that, the other thing I wanted to mention: safety. You can see Tom has his uh, safety glasses on. Safety first, kids. Remember that. <laughs> safety first. <laughs> Don't, don't try this. <laughs> Remember that. Don't try this at home. You could hurt yourself. <laughs> That's right. No reenacting. <laughs> All right. So we do that. We're gonna tighten up those Allens. Yep. I don't know what size. But anyways, folks, we'll stop there for, for uh, longevity sake. So four millimeter Allen. Four millimeter Allen. It does say in the instructions. Uh -huh. Use the four millimeter Allen to tighten these up. It reminds me of Dad. Remember in the shop when we were kids. <laughs> and whenever he, uh, you couldn't find a tool, he'd blame it on us. Actually, me. It's, you know, we'd take tools all the yeah. time just to get Chris in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my vice grips? <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> we hid them under Chris's pillow. <laughs> Tooth fairy. Good times. <laughs> Alright, cut. Damn it. Alright. Alright. What, right. what are we doing so now? I provide right. you with another trim piece. Okay. So this will actually almost make contact with the hood. It keeps it firm, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then it says it will it's necessary to trim it. Well the end when you go around the circumference of the box. Right, because it's too long. Oh, alright. I've never had a problem with that. Yeah. <laughs> it's all this hidden humor. The adults will get. <laughs> all right. It's like those cartoons they put in the adult humor. You know, so the kids don't get it, but the parents are in the theater, you know. Dad, why are you laughing? It's a funny movie. <laughs> oh. We're gonna go see Finding Nemo next. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, we're not drunk. This is just the way we are. Uh, <laughs> well, now we have fun on your day off, you know? Jeez. Hey, well, it's going on pretty good. Yeah. So basically, he's just using that edge to put that, uh, as you can see. It's got a split edge. Uh huh. And it just fits, fits cool. right over the lip there. Nice. Doing a fine job there, Maestro. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. I can hear your comments already. <laughs> that guy ain't working on my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna go to his shop again. <laughs> Got halfway down the street, and the engine exploded. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, you're cutting off the excess. Yeah, so I'm just going to trim it off right there. Handy trauma shears. Oh, there's metal in there. Man, they are handy. Wow. Cutting through metal. Got a little metal strip inside? Yeah. There you go. Made in America. Made in America. Yeah. All that Chinese crap. Right? That's right. Well, I hope it's not. Maybe it is made in America. Whatever. Who knows nowadays? No, it's actually, it does say it's made in America. It's made in Wuhan. Yeah, to trim it a little more. <laughs> oh, we make a box for you. <laughs> <laughs> Up free from a COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! Well, I hope the YouTube gods don't strike us down. <laughs> Take it down. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are. All right. Well, I'll let them finish that. All right. Move along. Nice. Strong work. All so, right. so next in the series, what are we up to, man? All right. So now, what could that be? We have to put the new filter. Look at that. It comes in a plastic bag. That's a good thing. I think you should leave the plastic bag on. Well, I, think it would I was work thinking better. about it. Like, is that a lampshade or a... <laughs> <laughs> oh. A, uh, it never stops. It this is the most important thing, though. What's that? What this, is, oh. this is what... Look, they give you a sticker. Oh. And that's always the most important. Yeah, let's put the swag on. We don't have to install the intake. Yeah, come on. Okay. Come on, man. A slab of beef with mittens. There we go. There. There we go. Oh, you put that on my my toolbox. There you go. Wow. Is that awesome or what? Cool. Okay. Well, we're done with All that, right. that part of the installation process, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so now your air filter. Your lampshade. Your lampshade. Or a hat. You know. Devo. Yeah. yeah. Whip it. It's just gonna go inside. Okay. It already came with a clamp, and I think I'm going to put the oh, clamp. Oh, it's got the hose clamp on there. Yeah. What do they think of next? And I think I'm going to put it in a position where if I ever need to take it off, mm -hmm. it's in the upward position. The long size. Yeah. Well, you know. It's because those parts were made in China. These parts were made in America. <laughs> All right, let's get the right size. We'll get this done. So, yep, I need another size. Okay. And that's why. That's why what? That's you why. got this one out because that's what fits for these. No, oh, I was thinking ahead. You, know. you were thinking ahead. Yeah, there you go. I think I was gonna. Eh, never mind. I'm gonna, eh, I'm gonna keep my mind to myself. I had a <laughs> joke. <laughs> so you see how this is slips off? It's my crappy. Uh, you you use a little trick. You do about putting yeah. a little paper towel in there. Oh, that way. Oh, hey. And it kind of stays in there a little easier. You're my hero. I learned that oh. from my brother. <laughs> <laughs> what you need? So basically. What are we doing? This is gonna go, it's gonna pre-tabbed. So uh, it's just gonna go back in your stock box top. Oh. Very nice. And your factory clip snap right in. Oh, so it's all oh, that's pretty easy. As long as you have it lined up correctly. <laughs> We're gonna ask okay. you a question. We want to know, are you wearing an athletic supporter? <laughs> you got your jock strap on? You chuck it up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you... <laughs> All right. Do How's you, that look? Do you wear your jock a lot? <laughs> jock a lot, jock a lot. You got to wear your jock a lot, jock a lot, jock a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. This is a family channel. Young kids could be watching this. Could be. Ten-year-olds that have uh, Ford pickups. All right. <laughs> That's, That's pretty it. slick, brother. Yeah. Let's get a let's get a look from the other side. Oh. That's it. That's We're done? it. Okay. Close it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right. So what are we gonna do? Hey, while we got the the uh, hose off the throttle body there, see all that gunk in there. Pro tip: What are you gonna do? You're just gonna clean that I'm out. Just while gonna you, use while a little, you got it uh, off. Yeah. Little uh, uh, cleaner here that you can get at your local hardware stores or I'm auto sorry, auto auto stores. Yeah. Mm. So you just clean it up. 
Why not? Oop. Oop. What'd you do? I had a little, uh, a little bit, exposure. A little epiphany. Did you burn off your fingertips? No? No. Exposure of, uh, uh, copyright name. Oh, 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 oh. I gotcha. I'm sure you guys get that. All right, I'm not gonna go. The hardware all store. Down. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Never thought of that. Man. Yeah, cleaner. Ooh. Cool. <laughs> all right, what are we doing now? Hey, it's comedy right. hour. Uh, so now we have our fun what? bags. Uh, if our <laughs> yeah, coupling hump holes. That's what it's called, a hump. A hump. H U M P. H U M P. She has in the instructions, right folks. Coupling hump. It's the hump holes. holes. It's the hump holes. Look, it has a hump. <laughs> oh. So they're spe it. they're specific. One goes on the air box, and one's gonna go on the throttle body. Okay. And the six eight three nine. Which is this guy here? Uh -huh. Beautiful stamps on them. Yeah. And you're gonna put your clamps, pre-clamp them. I would. So your hose clamps. Uh, yeah. So then you don't have to try and get over the hump <laughs> to put that one on. Once you put it on your feet. Oh God. So it doesn't say specifically which side goes on the throttle body. Uh huh. Uh, it does seem like one side is bigger than the other, larger diameter. Would that be the box, the airbox side? Uh, 6839, yes. So this one looks like it will go towards the airbox. Mm -hmm. Or maybe may not. We'll try it this way too. I'll well, see, that's a much better fit. Yeah. Always good to have a good so, fit. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> All, All right. right. So now what? That was a really hard install. Yeah. Um. So I, you know what, I'll tighten one side down okay. and then I'm gonna put the one on the throttle but actually I'll just put the one on the throttle okay. as well. Nice. Almost done. And that's man. gonna be the remaining 8699 stamped. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I want to coordinate this clamps so that I can Reach access up. them. Yeah. Access them? Is that a word? Yeah. Access. Access. Yeah. Yeah, what country sure. are you from, man? They are accessible. <laughs> so then, right over the throttle body. Mm -hmm. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> Just like so. Okay, we got that. Then we gotta tighten those down. Let me grab that handy tool. Stand on my stool. You just stand so on my I stool. So I can be so cool. Yeah, there you <laughs> listen go. to me making some rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's always a good time at the shop here. You know, um, nice. So those, you, know, you put the hose on. Hose clamp click. You put the tubes on. You put the, the hump hoses on. That's right. Tighten all the models up. Another hose clamp click. There you go. Snug. Snuggalugus. Nice. So then. We grab a hold of your piece. tube. Just an old big black tube. So now right. it's basically gonna just fit right up in. Cool. Get on my perch. Yeah, you could. A freaking monkey could do this. <laughs> it's a weekend <laughs> excursion to. Normally, it would probably only take somebody about 15 could. minutes, but. Well, we're showing you folks, so. We were doing. We took our time. Right? Yes. All right. So now I'm gonna have to loosen this clamp up just a smidge. Okay. There. Now oh, it fits like a glove. <laughs> it looks good though. And it cleans up the engine bay a little bit. It doesn't have all the plastic crap on, like the, the stock ones sticking around. Right. Yeah. Boom. And that's it. You're gonna tighten them up? All right. I will tighten them up. All right, you're lying. All right. So now that we got everything connected, 
Mm -hmm. Post clamps all tightened. Okay. We're just going to put our stock pieces back on. Okay. As you heard that click. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Rain Man Ray. <laughs> And then this guy here, click. Nice. Done. Secure. Wow. Last thing we have to do is make sure we put up our sticker. <laughs> so that makes it totally legal. Oh, you gotta have the sticker, it won't be legal. Without the sticker, it's not legal. Oh. And the sticker goes up in here, huh? sticker or by the emission stuff yeah I think I want to just put it right up top and this is the carb um, emission sticker that says no, you it's get, legal right you got to get it smog that's what the small guy looks at yep he will absolutely look at that okay there you go I'm installing the sticker now see don't you. read my number <laughs> <laughs> no I'm just kidding <laughs> don't, don't read my number <laughs> Hey, could I get your digits? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Perfect. And that's it. Except for the box at the top, right? No, it doesn't have one. It doesn't have one. I lost my mind or something. Huh. That's it. The, that's it. All right. The hood will conform a little bit and push down, but it's... Uh, oh, I got gotcha. So it'll kind of just seat on top of it and seal it. And it's supposed to add some extra horsepower. How much horsepower are we looking at? Uh, I don't know, like 12, 15 horsepower. It oh. says this motor's at 385 already, so it might put me right at 400. Damn. There you go. Yeah. So, so, it's so, a, so I can get to the gas station faster. <laughs> <laughs> and pay that six bucks a gallon here That's in California. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Makes you want to go on a long trip, doesn't it? That does. <laughs> I should drive to Washington. <laughs> All right. Well, we're done, man. Pretty easy install, huh, guys? Uh, looks pretty good. More horsepower, better gas mileage. And uh, what do you think? You fired up about it? I am fired up about You're it. Pretty so, stoked. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to Chris's channel. <laughs> he needs subscriptions and he needs likes. So. I appreciate that, bro. Yeah. It's what brothers are for. <laughs> All right, man. Okay, so folks. watch your knuckles before I slam them down. Because <laughs> this, this is done. Done deal? Done. All right. Well, hey, like you said, like Tommy said, Tom, uh, be sure to subscribe if you can. And uh, you guys have a good day. It's Chris from Outbound Terrain. And we're going to wrap it up right here. Hope this video helped you out. If you did, let us know. Leave comments below. All right. All right. Take care. A little different sound.